If you get canker sores, this video is going to explain to you exactly what causes them and a way to prevent them that actually works. Check it out. I've gotten canker sores my whole life. It's a family thing. My mom gets them, my sister, my grandmother, and on and on and on. A few years ago, I decided to get to the bottom of all this, so I created a website called cankerboy.com, and at Cankerboy, I posted all the research I could find about it. I tested canker sore products on myself and reviewed them, basically just trying to figure out what caused these things and how to get rid of them. Because of that, I've become a bit of an expert on canker sores. I mean, I'm not a doctor or anything, but there's a surprising lack of research out there on this subject, and so I just kind of became an expert by default. So let's talk about what they are. Everybody hurts sometimes. You might call them canker sores, some people call them mouth ulcers, but the scientific term for them is aphthous ulcers or aphthous stomatitis. Therefore, people who get recurring canker sores have what they call RAS, recurrent aphthous stomatitis. So there's a lot of confusion out there about what exactly they are. Let's start by talking about what they're not. They are not herpes. I can't say this enough. Herpes cause cold sores, also known as fever blisters. Cold sores and canker sores are two completely different things. Here's how to tell the difference between a cold sore and a canker sore. Just think LBC. With so much drama in the LBC. Like that. L stands for lips. If it's on the outside of your lips, especially if it's around the corners of your mouth, that's a fever blister. Canker sores only happen on the inside of your mouth. B stands for blister. Fever blisters are called that for a reason. They show up as blisters. These blisters burst and then they spread and they're very contagious. Canker sores almost never begin as a blister and they're not contagious. And finally, C stands for clusters. Fever blisters start as one and then create many all around it, which makes them appear in clusters. Canker sores, except in very rare occasions, don't. Canker sores are loners. And because they're not viral, they're also not contagious. So go ahead and make out with whoever you want. It might be kind of painful though. So it's not caused by a virus. All right, so what does cause them? There's an endless number of theories, everything from food to bacteria to chemicals and toothpaste, and those can have some effect on them, but it really all comes down to one single source, one lone culprit for the whole thing, your immune system. You do it to yourself, it's true. And that's what really hurts. You do it to yourself, you do. The human immune system is unimaginably complex, but I'm just going to focus on the one tiny glitch that makes all the difference between enjoying a good meal and being crumpled in the floor crying in the fetal position. And this is going to get a little sciencey, but just hang on for a minute, I promise this is going to blow your mind. So the immune system has 21 different types of cells, and they all have their own function to play to keep you from, you know, dying. One special type of cell is called a macrophage. It's very important. It has several different functions, but one of the things it does is it releases a certain type of protein called cytokines. They're messenger proteins. They handle everything from causing inflammation to communication. And one of those cytokines is a little guy called tumor necrosis factor alpha. It's a morbid name, and it has a morbid job. Let's say you have an injury, like say you cut your finger. The immune system is going to rush in. Now most of the immune system is going to be focused on keeping bacteria and foreign invaders out. But TNF-alpha gets in there and it has a different job altogether. Its job is to wipe out and kill all the cells of yours that might have been damaged in that trauma. Like imagine an army medic going through a battlefield and instead of stitching up all the wounded soldiers, he just shoots them in the head. That's basically what TNF-alpha does. That's seriously brutal. Like, why would your immune system do this, you may be wondering. Well, there's actually a very good reason. Now, a damaged cell could repair itself and keep on going, but that damaged cell might have damaged DNA, which means that cell would divide into two cells with damaged DNA, and then four, and then eight, 16, and on and on and on. You might can see why this would be a problem. Damaged cells, if gone unchecked, can go on to create all kinds of problems like cancers and tumors, but TNF-alpha keeps that from happening by wiping them out at the very beginning. That's why it got its name, Tumor Necrosis Factor. So brutal as it is, it is actually a good thing. But you know what they say about having too much of a good thing? People with RAS have a tiny glitch in their immune system that causes it to overproduce Tumor Necrosis Factor Alpha. So anytime you get any kind of tiny micro tear in your mouth, which happens all the time because you're chewing and food particles scrape and do all kinds of stuff in there, it sends way too much of it. And when it gets there, it wipes out all the damaged cells, but then it just keeps going. It continues wiping out all the cells around that damaged area, creating this huge crater of exposed nerves made all the more sensitive by inflammation. And that is a canker sore. 
Now all this is based on research that was just released a few years ago actually. This is brand new stuff. I'll link to it in the description below. Now a lot of people see an uptick in their canker sores when they use a certain type of toothpaste or they eat a certain food or when they're under considerable stress and that is something that happens but those are things actually that are tied into your immune system. It might help to think of it kind of like an allergy. When somebody's allergic to pollen it's not the pollen itself that makes their eyes water and their nose run and sneezing and all that stuff. That's their immune system's response to the pollen or over response in this case. Now I know there are a lot of people out there that are like, yes Joe, I know, but I do have herpes and whenever I get an outbreak of cold sores, I also get an outbreak of canker sores, so they must be related, right? Well, not exactly. Any kind of herpes outbreak is going to ping your immune system and anything that pings your immune system, if you have RAS, is going to cause canker sores. Like anytime I get sick, I get a mouthful of canker sores. In fact, a lot of times I know I'm going to get sick before I even start feeling sick because of this reaction that I get in my mouth. It's my immune system reacting before I even start to feel any symptoms. So if you do get herpes and canker sores, then you are just one of these people that's unfortunate enough to have two completely unrelated but painful situations going on at the same time. It's correlation, not causation. And you have my sympathy. Okay, so now you know what causes them. The million dollar question, however, is what can you do about it? A little less conversation, a little more action, please. Now there are a number of canker sore treatments, including gels and paste that cover it up and provide some pain relief with anesthetics. There's also uh, cauterizing treatments that can burn it away with things like sulfuric acid and just endless numbers of alternative therapies, including things like, you know, putting rock salt on it, which I'm pretty sure is how they got information from people at Guantanamo. Now these all help to varying degrees, but the big problem with most canker sore treatments is they just treat the canker sore itself. They treat the symptom, not the actual systemic cause of the problem. As a lifelong canker sore sufferer, that's a tremendous bummer. I don't want a new and better way to deal with having canker sores. I want a new and better way to keep from getting them. And after three years of research, I can tell you, that doesn't exist. So, I created one. After three years of research and personal experimentation, I discovered a way to regulate your body's production of TNF-alpha to reduce or completely eliminate canker sores from your life altogether. And I put it in a daily vitamin supplement that I am now making available to you. If canker sores are a big part of your life, or you know somebody that has to deal with these little monsters, go to cankerboy.com and try it out for yourself. It's the only treatment based on this research into TNF-alpha, which is the true cause of canker sores. Now, I don't mean to toot my own horn too much, but this is a really big deal for me, and after years of research, I can tell you it's kind of revolutionary. There's really nothing else out there like it. Now, I know you're wondering if this works. Well, the ingredients were tested at the University of Ben-Gurion at the Negev in Israel, and they showed that 75% of people who took it had a complete remission of canker sores after six to eight weeks. And yes, I tested it on myself, and what happened was I went for the first time in my life for an entire year without getting a single canker sore. It actually worked a little too well. I had to stop taking it because I was running a website where I was testing and reviewing canker sore medicines, and I wasn't getting canker sores anymore. Weirdest problem I've ever had. So yeah, it totally worked for me, and there's a 75% chance that it could work for you. You could be canker sore free in less than two months. And if it doesn't work for you, I will refund every penny of your money, no questions asked. If it doesn't work, I don't want your money. You got bigger problems to deal with. So go check it out, it's cankerboy.com, and make it as simple as possible to give it a try. There's no risk whatsoever. You've got nothing to lose but the pain. And if all that wasn't awesome enough, I'm actually giving away a portion of our proceeds to oral health charities. On a personal note, I've been working on this for about two years now, and it's, it's, it's really exciting to be getting this off the ground, and I really look forward to seeing other people being able to finally live pain-free. Thanks as always for your support, and please spread the word about this. It could really help out a lot of people, and hey, if things go well, it could free up more time and maybe some funds that I could put into making these videos. See, it all comes around. Alright, thanks everybody for watching this all the way to the end. I know it was packed with a lot of information, but I really appreciate your support, and uh, this is going to be a big thing. I'm really excited. Let's do this. If this is your first time watching this video, thanks for joining. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit subscribe. I come back every Monday with a lot of really cool and thought-provoking videos to make you more interesting around your friends and the water cooler at work. So one last time, click the link below. Go to cankerboy.com. Spread the word. I really appreciate it. All of you, thank you so much. Have a great week. Love you guys. Take care.